back with boys action to 2015 Boston Pizza 4A High School Volleyball Championships. We're looking forward to an exciting match between Miles Mac Buckeyes and St. Paul's Crusaders. This match will put uh, Miles Mac ranked number one. Miles Mac finished in top spot in three of their tournaments this year and is going after their second title in five years after taking the cup in 2011. They've been in the final four the last three seasons. Buckeyes are led by setter and team captain and number two ranked player Serge Girard and 6'3 left side and six ranked player Austin Ducharme. They defeated Vincent Massey Trojans in three straight by scores of 25-19, 25-15 and 25-17. St. Paul's knocked off defending champs Steinbach Sabres in three sets and are led by number three ranked player 6'3 setter Ben Herker and libero Matt Stasiuk. Veteran coach of 34 years Lloyd Voth Took the title in 2007, and he's back now. Lloyd, you upset number two ranked Steinbach. What do you have to do to upset the Buckeyes? Buckeyes are a great team. They're uh, they're well balanced. Uh, we're just happy to be here. We beat Steinbach because uh, we got uh, the first time this year we beat them. So uh, th they've always been a great team. I still think they're a great team. They got great players, and Miles Mack. There's a reason why they're number one. Who are you looking for leadership on your team? Well, I think you named them. Uh, both Stasiak and Hooker are two of our key, key guys on the team. And St. Paul's is going to come with a good crowd tonight, I think, and uh, be a lot of noise in the building. Over to Tim Ah now. Uh, Tim, you, you've been in the Final Four the last few years. What do you have to do? I think we just need to play simple volleyball, just serve the ball in, pass well, and run an offense, play some great defense, stuff that's worked with for us all season. So, And your kids, are they're pumped up? Yeah, they're very excited. It's been an exciting week, and uh, we're ready to play. All right, we're looking to some exciting action. Good luck to both coaches, and we're going to get uh, 2015 Boston Pizza 4A Boys Championship is going to get underway right away. Stay tuned for some exciting action. We're going to go back to uh, upstairs to Missy and Jules right away. Thank you very much, Mo, and uh, good luck to both coaches. Similar to the girls' game, we've got number one and three ranked teams in the province here. We've got a team, Miles Mack, number one, with a lot of depth. Of, as we mentioned, a lot of their bench could start on a lot of people's teams. These teams, just like the girls, have played three times, and Miles Mack, I believe, has taken all three of those. So without any further ado, we're going to go right to the introduction, so we're going to throw things to public address announcer Tom Halleck.
Almost ready to take to court. We've got the Miles McDonnell Buckeyes, number one ranked team in the province in the green and yellow. And then on the left side of your screen in the burgundy and black is St. Paul Crusaders, the number three ranked teams. Of course, uh, ranked number one and two all year were Miles Mack and Steinbach. But we had St. Paul's upset Steinbach in the semifinal, three sets to none. Well, and there's gonna, this is going to be a great match, Missy. Uh, St. Paul's upset Steinbeck, but uh, don't kid yourself. Lloyd Voth prepared those boys. He switched some stuff. We're going to have a well-coached match here tonight, folks. you got Lloyd Voth and Tim Awe, two of the best coaches. Been around for a long time. They haven't shown each other all their hands all year, I'm sure of it. Lloyd always saves stuff for provincials, and I'm pretty sure he did that in the semifinal against Steinbeck. And I look for uh, a great match today. I'm, I'm going to predict we're going to not have a 3-0 match. We're going to go a little longer in the men's final. That's just my guess because I saw these teams play in the semifinal and I think they're pretty even. Yeah, and it certainly has a potential for that. And as you mentioned, two well-coached teams. And uh, Lloyd Voth has been coaching for 29 years. That is like uh, forever. Yeah, he's been at St. Paul's and uh, he's had some great teams. You know, his son Chris led them to two titles 
two years in a row, and I was fortunate enough to help coach a little bit back then. And, uh, you know, he's just been doing it year after year. Well, we see a hitting error by number five. That's Matthew Lavoie. Some great serving on the Miles Max side by Everett Charche. Yeah, passing's a key in all volleyball, folks. So you have to pass the ball. They've got two of the best setters in the province playing today. But if you can't get the ball to the net, they become pretty average. Nice pick up there by Gerard. The setter just attacked that ball as well. There goes outside. <clears throat> we got a net violation. I believe this one called the game. Mitch Keeper. A great swing on the outside by Lavoy. He uh, had a great semifinal match. He's not a big guy. Maybe he's 5'7", five, 5'8", five, but the boy can really jump and he's got a powerful arm. Blood goes outside to number 18, that's Thielman. Nice pick up, but we've got another net violation. This one called against Kiever. Two unforced errors in a row here for Miles Mack, net <laughs> violations. Blockers are trying to penetrate the net, get over that net to get a block, but they gotta be careful not to touch the top of the tape. Heber throws that one deep middle. Here goes back, off the blocker's hands and out of bounds, scoring is Matthew Stasiak. Ben Hooker still serving for St. Paul's. Stasiak is listed as a libero, but uh, that is him hitting there right now, isn't it? Nice attack by Thielman. Getting one of the shorter players, kind of small in stature a little bit, but jumps out of the gym and hits a great ball. Yeah, there's some really physical, physical players out here. Strong boys who can really get off the ground. Back at the line is Zach Thielman. Honorable mention in our top 10. Hooker goes to the middle, just hits out of bounds. But once again, we get Mitch Kieber called on a net violation. Good pass there by St. Paul's, nice and high. You got a setter like Hooker, who's very athletic. You saw him in warm up. He's touching probably close to 11 and a half feet. Get the ball high to the net, and then he will get you one on one. And as I said the last match, if you get a one on one block, you better be scoring. A huge attack by number 19, Austin Ducharme. Uh, Ducharme's the key for uh, Miles Mack. He had a good semifinal game. They rolled in their semifinal game, uh, knocking off Massey three straight sets. So I think we didn't see everything from them in that semifinal, but I look for him to be a key and get a lot of balls from the setter Gerard. Justice Lizuk is into the game now for Miles Mack and serving is Ashton Jeffrey. Hooker goes middle, goes off the blocker's hands, dug up by Ducharme. Ducharme chooses to still do a roll shot. Hooker going outside. Off the blocker's hands and out of bounds, that's Grigaitis. Great swing off the block on the outside. St. Paul's doing a good job of not trying to hit the ball down, straight down. These blocks are big, you have to reach high and hit, hit smart off the top of the block. Signatovic with the serve. And again, Ducharme there, but right there is a huge block at number nine, Gerard Murray. Let's see if we can see this on the replay. Murray had a fantastic semifinal match against Steinbach. I saw him get a lot of blocks like that. He's a big kid, and he closes the block well. Only 6'7". <laughs> Free ball being put over by St. Paul's. They go out to Ducharme, who has to reach for that, but a net violation called against Stasiak. Good run by the setter, getting their, set, uh, getting their outside hitters, isolation on the outside. Both teams had a, having a really good start to this match. Very few unforced errors. Well served by Gerard. Hooker makes a great save in the middle as a setter. And a little bit rushed on that attack was number two, Paolo Ricano. Great swing on the outside by Ricano. Down the line, had nowhere else to go really. The set was a little bit tight for him and he was able to sneak it past, past the outside arm. So Gerard with the serve and a nice attack there by Matthew Stasia. Yeah, St. Paul's choosing not to use a libero. 
their, uh, their middle hitters are playing the back row. We saw that in the girls' final as well. Mizuk with the attack, this ball just gonna be kept alive. Does it make it over? Does it make it over as it went a little bit past the antenna? And we saw that Rapano tried to save that one, but it didn't go over. Jeffries with the pass, free ball being put over by Ducharme. Nice dump by Hooker, looking like he was gonna go up with one hand and save that one and redirects it with a backwards dump. Smart, smart play by Hooker. Good free ball pass, all the free ball passes from St. Paul's making Hooker get up nice and high and freeze the block of the Miles Mack Buckeyes. It's passed by Mizuk. Ducharme off the net, lands in. Looking for a touch call there, but that was clearly into the tape. 10-6 in the first set, St. Paul's Crusaders. Or it goes out to Dushan, makes no mistake on that one. Got the opportunity to get a better approach, a better swing at the ball. Great swing to the deep corners. St. Paul's defense got sucked into the middle of the court there a little bit. And uh, Ducharme was able to hit it right past him. Served by Ducharme. Big block there by Lazouk. Hooker makes no mistake on that one. And that is your setter, folks. Yeah. Whenever he plays the first ball, look for them to set him right away. He, he, he often runs out to hit the ball. He had a lot of swing attacks in the semifinal match. And obviously, when you jump as well as he does, he's got a great arm swing. You definitely want to use that guy once in a while as an attacker. At the service line is Gregitis. The panel a little bit rushed on that shot. Looked like it was inside. Didn't quite get his feet to the ball. Yeah, he's got an approach to the ball. It was an inside set, but he stayed outside. Fortunately, by the time he attacked the ball, was, the ball was under the of the net. Nice attack in the middle by Justice Lazouk. Setter doing a good job of forcing the middle there. Even yep. though the pass was off the net a little bit, pass was he still off the forced net, it. And he, uh, he took a quick look, saw that the middle blocker at St. Paul's had taken off, assumed he was going to set it outside, and snuck one past him in the middle. Very good set. Very heads up and smart. Hooker goes to dump, but right there, was Thielman. And a big block by Kieber in the middle. Obviously, Miles Max aware of Hooker's desire, and he loves to go on the second ball quite a bit, and they're not going to let him dump all night. They're all over that that time. Into the game right now is Reese Burr. He takes out Lazouk, and he is at the service line. And another dump up picked up nicely by Gerard. Great block by Kieber in the middle. They go out to Hooker, off the blocker's hands, but dug up by Gerard. Nice pick up by Stasiak, and off the blocker's hands. That was Gerard Murray with the kill. Only a grade 11 player, six foot seven. Yeah, Hooker's getting a lot of swings in this first set. Uh, he is the quarterback. He's got to run the offense, but uh, he, he's got to, as soon as he plays the ball, he goes outside and he wants to get set. Ricano hits that ball. Gets calls, a touch oh, call. Calls a touch. Middle blocker, St. Paul's middle blocker, accepting the touch call. He knew he got it. Signatovich. And coming back into the game is Everett Charche. For Miles Mack making a lot of subs in this first and opening set. Hooker goes middle. Very song get try and get underneath that one, but got called on the double hit. Good call by the referee there. Absolutely. 
he was a little bit off balance trying to save that ball. Charche with the serve. Hooker goes up, kept alive by Grigaitis. Nice diving save by Ducharme. Ducharme comes all the way across the court, almost makes a fantastic save. Another kill for Hooker. He might be leading St. Paul's in attack points right now. Hooker with the serve, and that kept alive. The ball was set over the net, and we saw the St. Paul's players block or tip it over. Nice dig by Charche. The setter, Juriard, is now hitting the ball. And this going off the blocker's hands and scoring is Matthew Stasiak. Yeah, I'm, I think this is one of Lloyd's moves. I, I honestly think Stasiak played libero in the <laughs> semifinal. But he's out here attacking and they're leaving their middles in the back row and they're doing a good job. Murray with a great free ball pass right to the net. And a change that Miles Mack is making is they've got Chartier uh -huh. setting right now and they have their setter, Serge Giriard who just attacked that ball and is doing a great job attacking. Stasiak with the attack for St. Paul's. They go back to Thielman, who scores on the play. Yeah, Girard's in the front row and they make that double sub, he's acting as an attacker. So he'll, he'll attack these three rotations and then he'll go back to setting when he goes back to the back row. Zach Thielman, honorable mention, at the service line right now for the Buckeyes. And that Catches ball the is line, tipped, good yes. block. Good block by Miles Max. That's Ducharme with the outside hand turning in, which is what you want to see your blockers do. That was number five, Lavoie, trying to play that ball off the blocker's hands, but it landed in. Still serving is Thielman. Our score is 15 13. Stasiak hits that ball out of bounds. Looking for the touch call, but he won't get it. it backspin on that ball. When you get backspin on a spike, <laughs> it's pretty hard to get a touch call. Yeah, it looked like he miscontacted that ball. Tillman still serving for the Buckeyes, trailing by one. Nice serve. There goes middle. Nice attack in the middle by Signatovic. Yeah, when St. Paul's passes the ball tight and uh, causes Miles Mack middle blocker to wait. Their uh, hookers has his choice of all three hitters and uh, it's pretty easy for him at that height to set the middle. Six foot three setter. Oh, and there we saw Charche just straddle the center line trying to save that ball as it was tight. That There's the difference between playing with a setter who's six three and one who might be five eight. Obviously, you gotta make your passes a little bit off the net for, um, for the Miles Mack. Or Chartier. Thielman keeps this ball alive. Ducharme goes up. Dug in the back by Murray. They go outside to Gregaitis. And we've got a net violation again called against Miles Mack. That's got to be their fourth or fifth net violation. Yeah, and it's, it seems to be the middle blockers are getting called a lot. And uh, St. Paul's doing a good job here. Big swings on the outside. Hookers running the offense getting contributions from every player. And uh, nice 18-14 lead in the first set. And we get a chance to look at Tim Aw, coach of the Miles McDonnell Buckeyes, currently ranked number one in the province. Yeah, Tim, you won't see panic from Tim. He's been here before. He's won this championship quite a few times, I believe. I don't know when the last time they won it. Was it two years ago? Um, Miles Mack will not panic. We're in for a long night of volleyball here. It's my prediction to see. Why would we want things to change now? Typically, it's a very late evening. You see all these extra players on the bench. Uh, you know, guys like... Uh, Give Lloyd Voth credit. He brings up great tens and nines and puts them on the bench for provincials just so they can get the taste of it and get the experience to be out here and, and hang out with some of these older players. You see Scott Koski, Sundarian out there, former national team player whose son is getting a great opportunity to, to be out here and, and hopefully get to play in this game one day. Uh, 
Ducharme going up, placing that ball deep. Hooker goes back to Murray, dug up by Charche. Free ball being put over by the Buckeyes. Hooker going middle, almost dug up there by the libero. That's Drew Duncan. Great, great set selection there by Hooker. Used the middle, middle attack out of the back row and then fed the middle in the front row. Lavoie serving for St. Paul's. 19-14 is our score. Thielman with the pass, they go back to Girard. Hits that ball out of bounds. Yeah, Girard still in this, is still in this, these three rotations with um, Girard hitting and uh, the set selection by Chartier, his, his location is off right now. Thielman with the pass, perfect pass. Nice set to Ducharme. St. Paul's looking for the antenna call. I don't believe it. It went off the net and landed in the backcourt. Great. And back into the game is Ashton Jeffrey. He replaces number 25, Mitch Heber. Nice pass by Signatowicz. And a nice attack there by Gregaitis. Uh, he's doing a really good job on the outside. All three outside hitters for St. Paul's. Um, not big guys, but boy, they can all jump and they're all hitting the ball very smart. High off the block. <laughs> Jeffrey sets it outside to Ducharme. Nice roll shot hitting that one nice and on, nice and high. Ball kept alive again by the Buckeye Chartre. Goes outside to Ducharme. He gets blocked on the one-on-one -on -one by number one, Stasiak. Great block by Stasiak. One-on-one -on -one blocks are huge. Those are points upon points. Those are extra points. They change momentum. Guys get pumped. You look at the St. Paul's bench right now. They're jacked up. They're ready to go, and they're excited for Stasiak's block, especially when you get it against the top player on the other team. And we get a chance to look at the St. Paul Crusaders. They've got a lead right now, 22-15 in the opening set. Here are the boys' championship game earlier today. We saw the St. Mary Academy Flames take the championship match in the girls against Selkirk Royals, three sets to none. Yeah, St. St. Mary's Academy girls over there, i guessing with their ties to St. Paul's, they're, <laughs> they're cheering. Uh, the Catholic schools are having a good night so far. So St. Paul's starting very strong in this opening set here. One thing like Miles Max being one of the stronger teams, and we've talked about the depth that they have, like their, their players that are on the bench right now are last year's provincial champions at the JV level. So they've got a lot of depth. But one thing that they're known for is making a lot of mistakes, and that is what we're kind of seeing a little bit here, and St. Paul's has taken advantage of that. Girard gets that ball in. Hooker goes middle. But I believe we've got a net violation called against, I believe it was Hooker. Yeah, he, he's acknowledged it. Uh, yeah. Tough break there. Hooker made a nice set, but he just couldn't stay off the net. Now they've... Um, Gerard will be back setting now. He's serving for the Buckeyes. His rotations as a hitter have stopped, and now he's got to get his quarterback cap on and run the offense, try and get them back into the set. Nice pass by Lavoie. That ball hit out of bounds. Point Buckeyes still serving then is Serge Girard. First hitting, first hitting mistake for Murray so far tonight. Let's see if Hooker... Goes right back to him again. Serve goes into the net. 23-17, back to serve for St. Paul's is Matthew Stasiak. Matthew Stasiak nice pass by Duncan. They go <laughs> big hit in the middle by Lazuk and almost dug up in the back row. Signatovich. Signatovich. It's just so calm in the back row for a middle blocker. He's great. He, uh, he wants the ball now. He, he was mad he didn't get that dig. See if uh, Hooker will set him in the back row now. 
Ducharme with the serve. Hooker pushes this ball out. It actually went, he got blocked on the play, it came back and hit him in the head and went over. That's when things are going your way. Absolutely. That, that set was a little low for him and uh, Miles Mack was all over him, all over that ball. This would be a great replay. <laughs> he got away with one there. And set he point here in the did. first set for uh, St. Paul's. Nice attack in the middle there by Justice Lazouk. Yeah, when Miles Mack's passing the ball well, they're siding out pretty much every time. It's just their backcourt struggles, and uh, St. Paul's has been passing really well. 24-19, and Lazouk is serving for the Buckeyes. Hooker goes outside. Lavoie is dug up. Gerard goes outside to Tealman. Nice dig in the back row there by Signatovich. And Hooker hits it off the blocker's hands and out of bounds. St. Paul's taking the opening set. Fantastic defense by Signatovich. He's made two or three big digs in this first set. And uh, Tom is a cucumber. They set, set the setter for the win and the, the winning point. And Hooker puts it away. Well, he is definitely, I mean, to have that kind of size setting puts him at such an advantage because he's also setting from a higher position. He can really make a faster set. And, of course, he's always the threat of jumping the ball as well. So St. Paul's doing a very good job pretty much controlling a lot of that opening set against Miles Mack. Very, very much so. They served smart. They didn't miss a lot of serves. I don't mm -hmm. even know if they missed one serve. Um, Lloyd's got them playing very disciplined right now and I look for Tim Ma to make some adjustments or maybe not do anything yet but because his his boys just too many unforced errors in the first set he needs to settle them down so right now we're just going to go courtside where Morris Glimpshire is waiting with an interview with me is Bob Lewin principal of St. Paul's High School Bob exciting times at the school the football team was in the finals now you got the volleyball team. What's it like at the school these days? Uh, it's a great environment. It's uh, really uh, great for our, our community. It's really program win because uh, all of our teams from the grade nine level to JV all the way up to varsity, uh, we, we build our program so that there's a succession plan and we try to coach similar uh, philosophy and we try to reinforce what we're trying to do in terms of Jesuit education in our program. And so when we see that come to fruition, we see the guys have success. It uh, really is a great thing for the school and our community. Our alumni are really, uh, really also jazzed about what's going on, and so it's just great for the school in general. Great for school spirit. I, I guess the kids, like you got the kids here pretty loud. At football, they were loud, uh, energized, and creates a great school spirit, I'm sure. Well, you know, our kids are really generous. They come out and support our teams. Uh, they come out, they, they cheer, cheer us on. They, we try to cheer our own team on and be positive and just celebrate our success, and it's contagious. And this is your second year at the school. Uh, good environment to come into and a great experience for you, I'm sure. I can just say the community of the school is great. The people in the building are what it's about. And, and you know, a lot of people have opinions about the school and they have a sense of what the school is about. Until you actually get into the school, talk to the people, talk to the coaches, talk to our students, our teachers, you get a real feel for who, we're, who we are and what we're trying to do. Awesome. Thanks very much. Best of luck as we continue on. Uh, St. Paul's won the first set. We're going to go back to Misty and Jules and continue on with the 2015 Boston Pizza 4A Volleyball Championships. Thank you very much, Mo. And uh, that was the principal of St. Paul's. He's got to be very proud of the program that they run. Uh, they have a lot of success in all the sports there. Yes, I mean, school sports are obviously very important. They built a brand new gym there. I fortunate enough to get a tour of it it's it's a pretty <laughs> spectacular school for uh, for athletes to go to and, and and every sport there is is taken seriously now I mean from hockey to football to basketball to volleyball to rugby soccer they've got them all and they do well at them all and um, they're pretty proud of it and you know what I was fortunate enough to help coach there it's almost 10 years ago now I helped coach there for two or three years and um, and the stuff that uh, I was exposed to at that school. The kids were fantastic. I enjoyed all my time at St. Paul's, and uh, and, and, and I'm very, very proud, uh, proud for that organization. Going back to serve right now to start the second set is Gerard Murray, the middle attacker 
grade 11 student. A solid serve. Girard goes outside to Rakana. Dug up by Grigaitis. Oh, and we've got him going underneath the net. That was Lavoie. That yeah, dangerous play by Lavoie there. Very dangerous, there. yes. Trying to save a tight ball. At that point, it was, uh, could have been an ankle roll there on that play. Absolutely. Ducharme with the serve for Miles Mack. This attack by Lavoie. Girard tried saving that ball off the net. Good dig by Ducharme, and unfortunately no one was able to, to get it at the net for uh, the Buckeyes. And Hooker's back to serve. Ben Hooker, number three ranked player in the province. Serves that one into the net. I guess I jinxed them, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, said I think he said missed they hadn't missed a serve. <laughs> So Reese Burr back at the service line for Miles Mack. That goes off the top of the net, but it's kept alive. And there we saw Hooker kind of fake him out, looking like he was going to jump up, but he's back row. Yeah, so I Thielman think got caught watching a little bit. I think Hooker uh, got a yellow card here to the St. Paul's team. Hooker needs to realize he needs to worry about his side of the net, and yeah. uh, you know you've got you've got uh, Miles Mack. You're, they're a good team. They're the number one team. You don't need to be going through the net right now. Just worry about your own team. Yeah, and a little uh, bit of smack talk. Back up the service line is number five, Matthew Lavoie. Duncan with the pass. Rakana with the attack, but he gets blocked on the play. That was Signatovic. A great block by Signatovic there. Closing to the outside. You could see it on the monitor. He was way over the net. He's a solid middle blocker. 6-5. The kind of height you want in your blockers, and that serve is into the net by Lavoie. We are all tied up at three apiece. Everett Sharche going back to serve for the Buckeyes. Yeah, he'll be uh, serving and then setting after this play. If it was the same as the first set, Gerard will be a hitter right now for uh, for the Buckeyes. Hooker goes middle. That ball hit straight down by Signatovic. Nice, quick, quick uh, set in the middle. Signatovic up in the air early. Hooker delivers a perfect ball and he puts it away. Now he's back to serve. Ball kept alive by Ducharme. Thielman reaching high for that one. Oh, that's the only play he could do was go cross court like that because the ball was outside. St. Paul's not ready at the net. That can't happen on a play like that. Could have easily knocked that back down on the other side or at least get ready to bump it up. Can't be hitting too soon. You gotta first be playing uh, playing defense, then transition to offense. Tillman serves that ball out. Good communication on the side of the Crusaders. Stasiak back to serve. That ball going off the top of the net and in. Good, That's good always break. a tough one, eh? Good break for Stasiak <laughs> there, but it was a good serve. If you, can, if you can hit the float serves right off the top of the tape, power to you. Another good serve by Stasiak. That attack going wide by Kieber. 6-4 is the score in favor of St. Paul's. Of course, they took that opening set by a score of 25-19. We are in the second set of the boys' championship game here at the Investors Group Athletic Center. Thielman with the back row attack. Blockers get a piece of that one. Hooker goes outside off the blockers' hands by Grigaitis. Ball kept alive by Duncan and Ducharme. Once again, I like his 
attitude and wanting to be aggressive in that. Yeah, well, and, and also in this place, Stasiak's actually becoming the setter in transition on free balls. Hooker releases, and Stasiak comes in from one back to set. Interesting, uh, interesting technical uh, coaching going on by Lloyd Voss there, using both his players, trying to get the most out of Hooker offensively and defensively. Trying to listen in to Tim Awe here, but uh, he's got to get his libero passing the ball better. They're struggling with serve receive, and uh, when they struggle with serve receive, St. Paul's is transitioning and uh, getting two men blocks up and digging around that block, and they're transitioning and scoring. Not making a lot of unforced errors, St. Paul's is right now. They're looking no, really No, they're playing smooth. very solid. Still serving is Matthew Stasia. There's that pass that you talked about, but Ducharme goes up and swings hard at that one. Yeah, another, I mean, St. Paul's did everything right there, but blocked the ball, but Ducharme made a really nice swing on that broken play ball. Good bump set by Girard as well, getting it nice and high so Ducharme can get up there and go after it. Looked on that replay like there's a little bit of seam in between the two blockers. And Ducharme took advantage of that. Back at the service line right now is Ashton Jeffrey. Hooker goes outside. We've got a net violation called against Miles Mack. That was Grigaitis. Yeah, too with many the net violations here so far mm -hmm. earlier in this match. And the first set, we had at least four against Miles Mack. That's, uh, that's a lot of points you're giving away. Absolutely. And that's one thing you always ask for is discipline at the net. So you don't want to give them those easy points. So Ducharme outside with the tip. It's dug up. Hooker goes to the middle by Murray. It's dug up by Lazouk. Free ball put over by Ducharme. Hooker keeps up. Oh, sorry, that was Stasiak that saved that ball. Hooker put it over. Hooker goes outside. And that ball is hit out of bounds by Lavoie. Tough break for Lavoie, that was a tight set. Jumped high, mm -hmm. looked for a little, was looking for the touch call and didn't get it. Yeah, Hooker always sets off a serve receive, but when they get free ball, Stasiak sometimes steps into set so they can give Hooker a few swings. Nice dig by Jeffries. Over bump, and it's hit by Murray and out of bounds. I think he'd like that one back. Yeah, tough break there for Murray. It got a little behind his head, and he, couldn't get, he yeah. couldn't get any top spin on it. He reached back, but he uh, ended up just missing the end line by a couple inches. Nice pass by Lavoie, and he ends up hitting that one, but a great dig by Duncan. Ducharme hits that ball out of bounds. Coach All looking for the four hits call. I'm not sure what happened there on that play, but uh, I think Hooker might have touched the net actually on when he swung on that over bump. Now St. Paul's is, uh, or Miles Max getting called over to the ref stand. Back at the service line is Gerard Murray. Our score 10-7. Nice pick up by Duncan. They go outside to Ducharme. Oh, and there we saw Gerard not quite getting in position, but that was a very tough one. Yeah, if to set with one hand, if it comes out with any spin, the refs are usually gonna call it. If you set with one hand and it comes out floating nice, they'll let you get away with the one-handed set. Well, Great not, serves yeah. by Murray. That looked like it was gonna go out. They called it out, but unfortunately, we saw Duncan touch that ball. A lot of jump float serves, trying to hit the ball nice and flat, making it tough on these uh, Buckeye passers. Another great serve by Murray. 
Gerard plays that ball off the net, but it goes out of bounds. So a couple quick points for St. Paul's. They now lead 13-7 in the second set here of the boys' championship game. And that ball finds the end line. Landed right in the corner. Yeah, these jump float serves, if you hit them right, they will drop for you. And Murray's in a roll right now. He's hit one that was going out of bounds. <laughs> and since then, he's just been dropping them in. <laughs> As I say that, he drops one in the net. But you know what? He got four points. He got a six-point lead in the second Absolutely. set. <laughs> you don't mind when they get that many points nope. and when they serve that well. <laughs> just got to love the timing. Ducharme with the serve. Hooker goes outside. And that ball is hit out of bounds by Lavoie. Yeah, Lavoie's having a little more trouble in this match than he mm -hmm. did in the semifinals. Everything was going in for him. But, uh, you know, he's got to keep swinging, keep his head up. They're up five points. He's going to have to score some big balls for them to win this championship if they want to win it. So he's got to stay in it. Nice pickup by Ducharme. Hooker goes and saves that ball with one, and Signatovich puts that ball to the floor. Yeah, Hooker was able to get both Miles Mack guys to jump with him at the net, and uh, great one had set. Signatovich didn't have any blockers up with him. And he serves that ball out of bounds. Back at the service line, Justice Lazouk. Ball kept alive by Murray. Free ball being put over by Hooker. Oh, and that ball looks like Thielman ended up almost doing a bit of a knuckler there. Yeah, another miss hit by the Buckeyes. They can't let this set get away from them. Six point lead for St. Paul's. They can, you can come back from that, but uh, they gotta start doing it now. Lavoie at the service line. Ducharme with the pass. Gerard goes outside to Tillman off the blocker's hands, but it's dug by Lavoie, but St. Paul's can't get to that second ball. Yeah, Lavoie not happy with himself there. That wasn't a hard dig for him, and uh, he knew he should have had it. Charchi back in for uh, the Buckeyes here, and uh, he'll be running the offense for the next three or four rotations. Charchi. Hooker puts it straight up. Nice attack there by Grigaitis off the blocker's hands. He's doing a great job. He keeps the ball high. He hasn't made a lot of mistakes, mm -hmm. and the one mistake he made, he ended up block getting a kill off his face, so... He's, uh, he's having a great match. <laughs> Ducharme out to Tillman. Tillman makes no mistake on that one. We've also got a net violation called against the St. Paul Crusaders. Yeah, the Buckeyes need Tillman to pick it up, and him and Ducharme have to get them back in this match. They're their two big outside hitters. Yeah, that was a very nice uh, replay. You could see that there was some seam, and he took advantage of it. Tillman at the service line. Hooker goes middle off Murray, dug up by Duncan. Ducharme with the roll shot, easily dug up. Oh, and that's a nice hit off the blocker's hands by Grigaitis. That was right off the setter, Serge Girard. Yeah, Grigaitis is doing a great job mixing up his shots. Going cross court, cross court. This time he turns it down the line and uses the block for the, for the kill. Girard goes outside to Ducharme, does a nice roll shot. That was set up nicely because he's hit so many hard shots and he did a nice fake there and just slowed down the arm action. Yeah, he found the middle of the St. Paul's defense. Back at the service line, Ashton Jeffrey. Pass gets right to Hooker. Murray turns and hits that ball wide and out of bounds. 18-14 is our score. Little over rotation from Murray. Mm -hmm. Four point lead now for St. Paul's. Miles Mack needs to make a run here. 
unfortunately missed serve there. St. Paul's, uh, all things going well for them right now. Brigaitis at the service line. Jeffrey with the pass to go to Ducharme, and it goes off the body of Signatovich. Yeah, Gerard's got to keep Gerard and Sharchi just got to keep feeding uh, feeding Ducharme, try and get him back in the set. Gerard at the service line for the Buckeyes. Nice pass by Lavoie. Buckeye's not ready for it there. We get a More trash Hooker. talking going on. I, I feel someone's going to get a card here. I mean, these guys all know each other. They play against each other an awful lot. I'm sure they play, I know they play club against each other. Can't be having that. You can't be taking red cards. You're putting yourself in front of the team, and uh, that'll be a point for uh, the Buckeyes, I believe. Will it, it will be, yes. Yeah, and uh, a loss, a, a yellow, yellow is a warning, but once you get a red card, it is a point and a loss of serve. So that could be very costly for St. Paul's. I mean, they're, they're playing well, don't get me wrong, but they're not dominating, so they do have to be very careful. No, you don't want to be giving away free points. Absolutely, especially out of undisciplined plays. Make the play, be proud of it. Don't be unsportsmanlike. Both coaches checking the rotations right now. Yeah. With the with the cards, uh, St. Paul should have rotated already once. Not sure why all four players seem to be talking to the ref. Usually you just have the captain over there. Mm -hmm. So they are talking about checking the rotation and they're doing that right now. They did rotate on the side of the Buckeyes. So Murray was going back to serve. Yeah, Murray should be in position one. He was going back to serve when he got the red card. Correct. So they should have so been he rotated. Loses his, he loses his serve, and right. Miles Mack gets the ball and serves. And back shouldn't be so hard, should it, Missy? No, it shouldn't, but We're back. it's easy for us up here. So at the service line right now is Austin Ducharme. Nice play in the middle, an adjustment in the air by Signatovich. You see the huge benefits of having a big <laughs> athletic setter. See the replay here. Oof. Hooker with the serve. Yard goes outside to Thielman, dug up by Murray. They go outside and it's tight, and he ends up following through on the net is Lavoie. Again, that's where he's got to just have a little bit of control, not follow through when it's tight. Yeah, he's uh, getting some bad breaks out there. The yeah, set, that was close. The set was right near the the net and he tried to quickly snap it off of it but unfortunately his fingers caught the top of the net 21 17 here in the second set justice lazouk serving nice pass by lavoie and he gets blocked on that one by kieber kieber and tealman or yeah kieber with the block there we need the buckeyes need kieber to do more he's got a he's got a score for them and he's got to start getting some more blocks Keeper at 6-6, six, six. quite a presence at the net. Nice pass by Stasiak, and a great attack. So passes and then gets in position to attack and makes a great attack. He's a great volleyball player. He moves the ball around, he passes, he sets sometimes. He, uh, he obviously was a libero at some point. He's listed as a libero, yet he's scoring at will. So the kid could just flat out play volleyball. Absolutely, nice pass by Duncan. Juriard goes to Thielman and almost dug in the backcourt by Murray. So Miles Mack doing a good job of stepping up their attack right now. Yeah, they're outside here. Thielman and Ducharme are getting in the groove right now and uh, they've got them back in this set. 
now down only three points. Bisharche back in the game to serve. Bisharche with the serve. Signatovic with the pass. Hooker goes outside. Roll shot being put over by Grigaitis. Tillman with the attack goes off the blocker's hands and out of bounds. Miles Max staying alive in this second set. Yes. And again, things have changed slightly since that red card. Oh, I, they definitely have. And uh, St. Paul's is going to have that come back to bite them if they uh, don't manage to pull this set out. There you go, four hits on St. Paul's. Yep. One point lead now only. and. Uh, Coach Voth bringing in a libero now. And this was looking like uh, St. Paul's was gonna almost easily take this second set, but Miles Mack doing a good job of staying in this one. Unfortunately missing that serve. Gives another easy point to St. Paul's. Back at the service line is Signatovic. Yeah, Darren Picklick in the game to play back roll for one point. And quickly, Murray back in the game to block and have the big presence at the net here. Thielman gets blocked, but it's dug up by Duncan. And Kiever tries to dump that ball. That's a tough play. Tough, unforced error to make here yeah. at 23-21. He could have, could have easily set the ball back to Thielman. And now we got set point for St. Paul's. Bouchard with the pass. They go to Kiever, who has to tip that one. Hooker. Goes to Murray, gets blocked, and right there is Gregaitis, but again, one hand when he could have played it with two. Yeah, we saw uh, <laughs> tough play here. We see the replay. Uh, Murray, good block there. Good block by Miles Mack, <laughs> right in the middle. Thielman back at the service line. 24-22 is our score. Nice pass by Gregaitis. And a nice attack by Stasiak, just nice and in control. Yes, again, Stasiak with a kill. Finishes off the set. He's been a very good player for St. Paul so far in this match. Well, when they need that kill, who came through? Uh, Stasiak did a very good job with that. And fortunately for St. Paul's, the red card did not come back to haunt them. No, but boy, they made that a little bit scarier than they needed to. They need to just take care of business on the on the floor. And they are now leading two sets to none. They took the first two sets, 25-19 and 25-22. So Miles Mack is in a position now where obviously they have to take this third set, but they want things to continue on here for them in this boys' championship game. We saw the girls' game go three straight. Let's see what happens in the boys game. Right now, we're gonna go courtside where Mo is waiting with an interview. With me is Dave Bard, physical education coordinator for Winnipeg School Division. Uh, Winnipeg One is hosting this uh, championship. Dave, a lot of volunteers, a lot of schools involved. Tell us what, what is involved with hosting. Well, uh, we started a committee last spring and we had wanted all of our schools to chip in. So all of our high schools contributed a member to our committee and then we look for one of our schools at a leadership program which was Grant Park so we have about 15 staff members here uh, who are responsible for the contest going on uh, selecting all stars working the gate etc and then about 20 students that are sweeping floors and running around being gophers so we're really proud to be involved and we the whole division supported it so that's fantastic it's nice I, I imagine the kids the Grand Park kids are getting pretty pumped up being here and being in this environment they are you know not everybody gets to a provincial championship so it's a great opportunity for them to see you know what's involved at this level and and try to get here and, and be on the court and, and be contributing in that way as well uh, it's great it's great that uh, they're being involved and taking the time thanks Dave I uh, also want to give a shout out to Pat Alexander from Northlands Parkway Collegiate in uh, Winkler He's been texting us and everything, and he's a volleyball coach and does a lot as well. So thanks for all your stuff, Pat. We're going to go back to Misty and Jules for the 2015 Boston Pizza 4A Volleyball Championships. Thank you very much, Mo and Dave Bard. We thank you for Winnipeg School Division Number 1 doing a fantastic job in organizing and running this provincial championship. And as we heard, Pat Alexander watching this all the way down in uh, Winkler. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people watching around. Uh, hopefully, there's some people watching around the around the globe. I, 
I sent Chris Voth to text to see if he was up, but uh, I think he's living in, he lives in Holland right now, so oh, he'll probably geez. watch it in the morning. I'm guessing he didn't get up in the middle of the night to watch uh, watch his dad here and uh, cheer him on. He'll cheer him on uh, in the morning, I'm guessing. But you know, right now, Miles Mack did a good job in the second half of that set. They got back into it. Thielman was scoring a lot at the end of the match. Um, they need to get their middles more involved. But uh, Ducharme and Thielman were starting to get on a roll, and uh, it was a very close cool set. Mm -hmm. And uh, I look for them to keep fighting their way back into it. Um, I said this thing would not go three straight. I'm going to hold my prediction and say it's going to go four or five sets, but uh, Miles Mack's going to have to come through in this set to, uh, to extend that anyway. Yeah, they certainly can't fall behind, and I, I know that's easy for us to say, but that is what they need to do is start right from the whistle here and keep themselves in this game. And they do start off with the serve right now, so Serge Giriard is back at the service line for the Buckeyes. Nice save by Duncan. Ducharme goes up, dug by Murray. And Hooker didn't quite look ready to hit that ball. He hits it out, but a net violation is called yeah. against the Buckeyes. Another unforced there by the Buckeyes. And again, off free ball, Stasiak does the setting. And uh, when Hooker's in the front row and he hits, and that time he actually hit it out of bounds, but uh, was able to draw the Miles Mack Buckeyes onto the net. Nice pass by Duncan, goes in the middle to Lazuk. It's dug up and a free ball put over by Hooker. And that was pretty much a free ball that you gotta make a good pass there. Rakana hits that ball out of bounds. Yeah, tough, uh, tough free ball pass by Gobero and uh, need to get those free ball passes to the net. Drew Duncan there, he uh, unfortunately slipped, slipped through his fingertips. Hooker with another great serve. This ball goes back to Ducharme, who just knuckles it over to keep it alive. Thielman with the dig. Girard goes back to Ducharme, dug up by Murray in the back row. Free ball put over by Hooker. Girard. Free ball put over by the Buckeyes. They go outside, and that ball looks like it was hit out. No contact with the block. That was yeah. Lavois that hit that ball out of bounds. Lavois got to keep his head up and keep swinging. Um, he he's the one hitter that has struggled a little bit for St. Paul's, but he's doing other things on the court for them to help them win this, win these first two sets. So he's just got to keep doing those things well. As you see him there, Shanka 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 pass. So it's unfortunate. Hooker giving him a give him, giving him a pat, tell him not to worry about it which is exactly what you need to do. So it's nice of Hooker to do that. And Signatovic with the middle attack. And that's something that's worked quite well for St. Paul's. Yeah, Signatovic hasn't been stopped yet. And uh, Miles Mack is read blocking. They're waiting for the set because they want they want their middle blockers to be able to close outside. But once in a while, they should maybe commit block on Signatovic so he doesn't get these free kills. The ball with the serve, Tillman with the pass. Here we are, goes back to Rakana, goes off the top of the net and put over four hits are gonna be called. Unfortunately for Rakano, there wasn't any blocker up that's there. A, that's a few uh, that he's, he's gotta reach higher and hit, hit the ball high off the block, trying to hit too sharp of an angle and uh, unfortunately he's getting, it, getting caught by the net. Duncan with the pass, a little Tillman hits it down the line. Murray right there, but he watched that one. Looked like he wasn't quite ready to play the ball. Yeah, it was smart hit by Thielman. Set was a little low and he didn't took a little bit off of it and chipped it down the line over the block. Back at the service line is Justice Lazuk. That was a quick play to Signatovic, not quite ready to hit that ball, but Thielman plays that one off the blocker's hands, dug up by the Buckeyes. Tillman again off the blocker's hands, dug up by Murray. And I could see clearly both Miles Mack players, the blockers were well off the net on that block. Yeah, it was a uh, delayed hit by Stasiak there and uh, Miles Mack pulled off the net. Again, he's been able to use the block. He's not shy about hitting off the top of the block and he's getting, getting rewarded for it. Big points for them. Signatovic serving. Duncan with a good pass. Goes back to Rakana. Rakana is just going to stand and play that one. 
And that was a nice high hit again by Grigaitis. We haven't seen much of him this set, but it is just early in this third set. They now lead six to three. Yeah, Duncan unfortunately fell in the back row and uh, wasn't able to get up in time to make that dig. Gerard having to chase that ball down. Thielman reaching nice and high. Hooker going up, <laughs> and then we saw it. He set it over the net, and Tillman went to hit that one and hit the top of the net. Got two, uh, another unforced area. You can, can't be making that at this point. Get a, get a free gift from the other team setting it right to you. You can't be going on the net. No, you got to take advantage of that. Then we saw it, a quick attack by Kieber. Almost dug up, but it goes out of bounds. Yeah, one of the few digs that Sigmikovic actually hasn't made in six back. He's playing terrific defense. A lot of middle blockers these days don't get to play in the back row. Exactly. They have to you see the libero those come in. to the libero, and he's showing us why he stays in there. There's a tip in the back row from Sigmikovic. Hooker goes outside this time, and it's dug up by Ducharme. Free ball being put over now by Ducharme. See if St. Paul's can take advantage of this. He goes back. And again, Ducharme with a huge dig. Thielman with the tip gets blocked, but puts it over. Hooker goes outside. And it's dug up by Duncan. And a tip, but it's kept alive by St. Paul's. Gerard goes out to Thielman, and he's blocked, but it goes out of bounds. Great rally. Big digs, big covers, good rallies. And Thielman able to rip one off the outside hand of the blocker. We'll see it here on replay. Using that block, catching a bit of a break. Oh, and a big block by Kieber and Girard. They're getting excited over on Miles Mack, the Buckeye side, showing, showing why they're the number one ranked team in the province. They're not going down without a fight, Missy. No, and they've climbed right back into this one. Our score now is 7-6. They only trail by one. Charche still with the serve. Nice pass. Hooker goes outside. Oh, and a big dig by Duncan again. He wants that ball again. Charche. But we've got another net violation called against the Buckeyes. Yeah, Duncan's made three big digs in the Huge last two digs. rallies. And uh, unforced errors at the net of crossing the Buckeyes. Stasiak with the serve for the Crusaders. Good pass by Duncan. Goes back to Thielman. Dug by Lovar. Hooker with that attack down the line, and he scores. Yeah, both setters in attack positions right now. Here you see the replay. Back set from Stasiak on a free ball right to Hooker. Showing why he's the number three ranked player in the province. Charche goes outside to Girard. He was kind of rushed on that one. And there we had some miscommunication by Murray and Stasiak. And that would be Stasiak's ball. Murray has to get out of the way so he can attack that one. But I like the fact that he was ready for it. So communication becomes important there. Yeah, Stasiak usually, usually takes those second balls. So Murray's got to get out of there. Let Stasiak do his job. Tillman to serve for Miles Mack. And again, another good touch by Duncan, but a little bit late on that one. That was number three, Grigaitis, with a nice attack, a yeah, nice safe play. He's having a good match for St. Paul's, doing a really good job on the outside. And he is now back at the service line. Duncan with the pass. Charche goes outside to Ducharme, who does a roll shot, nicely picked up by Stasiak, and a dump by Hooker. Both blockers up with Hooker there, just sneaks it through them. The quick dump. You'll see it here on replay. Again, you can see Kieber looked like he was off the net again. Thielman with the pass. Charche goes back to Girard, and that is hit out of bounds. Again, St. Paul's now has a five point lead here in the third set. Looking to upset, upset the number one ranked Buckeyes. 
Duncombe coming with the pass. Charche, great push, and he hits that ball. Ducharme right off Signatovic. Now Signatovic got that one in the face. He's, he's shaking it off right now. You'll see it here on replay. He's a tough player, though. Got that one in the eye. Yeah. Tells Coach Voth, don't worry, I'm good. In the end of the day, Missy, it's still only one point. Yeah, it was a great swing by Ducharme. That was a tough one. Jeffrey with the serve. Nice pickup by Stasiak. They go outside again to Lavoie. Jeffrey right there kind of pushes it a little bit close, but a great pickup and dig there by Stasiak. Nice roll shot. Ducharme goes to attack this one. It's dug up by Signatovic. As it goes to the middle to Murray, who makes no mistakes, putting that one straight down. Yeah, that was a good play by Stasiak. Every time he's setting, you'll see it here on replay, when he goes in from the back row to set, he often goes right to Hooker, and this time he did set the middle and uh, caught Miles Mack. A little off guard there. And this ball set a little bit low to number four, Lazouk. So 14-8 is our score right now in favor of St. Paul's. I've seen Miles Mack play a lot this year, but I haven't seen the combinations that they're doing right now. Like, I haven't really seen Gerard in a hitting position as much. Yeah, just some of the changes they've made. It's not normal to see so many um, so many adjustments in a game like this, but both Gerard and Hooker are such good athletes. No and question. If you have another guy who can set when they're in the front row, coaches yeah. feel, why not? Well, and just trying to throw them off, uh, you know, what they're used to seeing and everything. Gerard now with the serve. Hooker goes back row to Murray, dug up by Jeffrey. Ducharme reaching high, but right there is Gregitis, but net violation called this time this against St. Paul's. one of the few, few times that St. Paul's been called on the net. The majority of the net violations have been going in their favor, and uh, that time their block was a little aggressive. Ooh, and that ball was taken a little bit, a little bit low by Gregitis. Yeah, good call by the referee there. And not Come much on. choice when you take it in that position. You are allowed to set serves now in volleyball, but not when they're below your waist. <laughs> Stasiak made a good adjustment there because he was ready to do the same thing. Here we are, goes outside to Ducharme, straight to the floor. Great swing by Ducharme there. Set was outside, you'll see it here on replay. Set goes outside, Hooker's gotta get closer to the aerial and he jumped away and caused the caused the seam to happen there and the <laughs> middle blocker couldn't uh, couldn't close the seam. Gerard with another good serve. Oh, and straight to the floor. Great match for Signakovic in the middle. Again here, quick, quick attack in the middle. They jump with Hooker and boom. He was making a statement there. On um, there we see pretty much the same call on the other side. Yep. So again, uh, Ashton, yeah, Ashton Jeffrey just bending down to play that one when he should have played it with an underhand pass. Hooker still serving, 16-12. Team's in the lead right now in this third set. Gerard goes to Ducharme, who makes no mistake there. Takes advantage of the blocker's hands, not penetrating the net. Uh, Ducharme's got a uh, really fast arm and rips that ball off the, off the smaller uh, blocker in St. Paul's. Miles Mack trying to take advantage of some of the size mismatches they have outside. Nice save by Hooker. Hooker going back to number five and it's dug up by Juriard. Great dig. Oh, and that ball just finds the line. Sig Very Kovic, close. Virtually unstoppable in the middle. Any good pass. Hooker is going to him over and over again now in the middle. Yeah, he's not turning at all. He's hitting that straight to the floor. Serving right now is Lavoie. Goes just off the net and hits the floor. So a couple quick points again for the Crusaders. Just when Miles Mack is catching 
up to them in staying in this game. 18-13, they find that they are trailing. Yeah, Miles Max doing a good job getting back, getting the games to within one or two points, and then unforced error. Tough break there with the serve hitting the net and landing in the court, but they can't seem to uh, ever have a lead in this match. And uh, right now, St. Paul's is on the verge of a 3-0 sweep here as well. And uh, we'll take Could a listen in here on Tim Ah and see what he's got to say. Could St. Paul's be doing what they did to Steinbach to Miles Mack in this final? We're only a few points away, but Miles Mack has been doing a better job in this this third set of getting into it. Now they trail by five. 18-13 is our score. And they trail two sets to none in this championship game. Yeah, in provincial finals, it's a different mm -hmm. ball of wax. You play each other all year. You know, St. Paul's hasn't beat Miles Mack this year, but St. Paul's hasn't beat Steinbach either. No, and I mean, that's peaking at the right time, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you want to play your best at this point in the season. You couldn't ask for anything better. No, they're, uh, they're playing fantastic volleyball right now. Catching a few breaks, but they're creating their breaks as well. They're serving smart, um, not missing many serves. And solid blocking, no net violations, and they're transitioning the ball very well. Mitch Kieber comes back into the game. He replaces Ashton Jeffrey, and back at the service line is Matthew Lavoie. Thielman. Almost dug in the back row by Murray. Just a little bit of hesitation. It almost looks like uh, him and Hooker are trying to figure out who's going to play that ball. Yeah, it's six backs ball, but I'm just wondering if Murray hasn't played that much backcourt all year, and uh, he doesn't realize that that is his ball to go right. for, but it's Good a smart point. hit by Thielman as well. It that, is that definitely. That three-quarter shot to the deep corner there when he knows that the, the setter's up digging the tips. Bruce Burr with the serve. Goes again to Signatovic, who is unstoppable right now. I Absolutely. Would set, I would set him every time in the front row. Yep. Every, if you get a good pass, his kill percentage has got to be about 90% right now in yeah, this he's match. He's having a great match in the front row, but also with some of the defense that we've seen him play. Thielman doing a bit of a roll shot, but right there is Signatovic. Hooker going back. Off the blocker's hands. Oh, nice save there in the back row by Ducharme and then Duncan. Again, Stasiev Stasi with the kill, using the block, hitting it high, hitting it hard. Signakovic with an easy, it wasn't a hard dig, but he made a perfect pass out of it. Signatovic with the serve again. Duncan. Ruyard has to go to Tillman, but a huge block by Murray and Stasiak. There was no mistake on that one. Buckeyes had nowhere to go. Big block, big penetration right over the net. We got a seven point lead here in the third set. St. Paul's looks to be on their way to another provincial title. chance to look at St. Paul's team. They are in the lead right now, 21-14 in this third set, and they are leading two sets to none in the boys' championship game, taking the first two sets, 25-19, 25-22. Yeah, I've got a big crowd here, the St. Paul's fans behind us, nice and loud all night. Miles Mack fans, you got the St. Mary's fans. Great atmosphere for volleyball here at the high school. In, no high, high school sports just does it right. It's a, it's a lot of fun to be a part of, and it's a good experience for these kids. And one they'll, you know, obviously very rare, very fortunate to have because there's only two teams that get to play in a high school final at Quad A. You've got to give uh, Morris Glimshire and a lot of credit with the running of this and Greg Jarvis, Joanne. Absolutely. Huge block again by Murray. But as you mentioned, like the High School Athletic Association does a fantastic job. Whether it's volleyball or basketball, it doesn't matter if it's single A, quad A. The crowd here in this evening is always so exciting. Hooker with a big dig. Nice dig in the back by Ducharme. We're kind of putting over a free ball. They go outside and a Hitting air, one of the few we've seen by Gregaitis. Good defense there. It's do or die time for 
Miles Mack right now, Ducharme with a big dig to keep this keep this somewhat close here in the third set. Chartier's back in the game to serve and possibly set as well. Um, crucial moments right now for, for Miles Mack if they uh, want any hope of turning this match around. Nice save there by Hooker, but Murray hits it just long. Good break there for Miles Mack. That they're going to need a few breaks, and they're going to make need to make a few digs and a few plays. As you see, the replay there was just out the back by Murray. Nice attack by Stasek. Again, when you need someone to score, he's a guy coming through. 23-16 yeah. is our score right now in this third set. It's just hitting smart. High, Very safe. smart. He uses the block. Almost all his kids, kills don't go directly to the floor. Great serve there, too. No kidding, Duncan just kept that one alive. Juriard gets blocked on that one by Hooker. They go back to Thielman, dug up by Lavoie. Hooker goes up, and he is blocked on the play. He just wanted to wail on that Yeah, that gives Stasia credit, though. He's played a great match. He made a bad set there. First thing he did, said, my bad. You know what? Yeah. He said it inside. He knew it. He doesn't care. He's ready. He's focused. He's going to pass this ball. Back to serve right now is Zach Thielman. The guy just with the pass, he goes up, does a roll shot right there is Duncan. Charche goes outside to Ducharme who gets blocked, but it's out of bounds. Yeah, big swing by Ducharme there. We'll see it here on replay. Hooker turns his hands just a little bit more and he would have had him. 23-18, Tillman still serving for the Buckeyes. Ooh, and that off the top of the net. Murray's right there, an over bump. Oh, sorry, the set went over the net. Hooker with the attack, dug up by Duncan, and Charche tries diving for that one. It's a little bit of a broken play there by St. Paul's. Yeah, a little sloppy rally here. You'll see it. That could have been called two hits on that set, but uh, we got match point here, folks, for uh, the Crusaders. The football team's getting riled up here. <laughs> Brigaitis <laughs> with the serve. Thielman with a perfect pass. Ducharme off the blocker's hands. You can see that again. He, came, he hit that so hard that Murray's hands came off the net and it went out of bounds. Yeah, big swing by Ducharme. He's had a good match. He's been scoring for St. Paul's, or sorry, for Miles Mack. Needed a little more support. Um, right now, who's Hooker going to go to? Close this out. Up by five, set three. Provincial Finals. Signatovich is in the back row and serving right now is Ashton Jeffrey. It's a nice serve going deep. Free ball being put over by Lavoie. They go outside to Ducharme, but a huge block by Hooker. Big one-on-one -on -one block to close the match out. Holy smokes, the St. Paul's all-boys school going a little bit all-boy crazy over there. Congratulations to Lloyd Vaught, coaching for 30 years, gets another provincial title. Does a fantastic job with these kids. Well, we expected a possible going five, three straight in both the girls and the boys, and St. Paul's really playing in control this entire match. Yeah, they were in control, they uh, stayed consistent and they stuck to their game plan or whatever they they had. Whenever they had a couple bad mistakes, they didn't let the, the next point affect it. They went right away, sided out, made a lot of serves and uh, executed their game plan perfectly. And when you get on a roll in volleyball, you get on a roll. And they got on a roll today in the final. That they did, taking this one by scores of 25-19, 25-22, 25-19. So, St. Paul's number three rank, knocking off Steinbeck. And then in the final, knocking off Miles Mack. Here we get a chance to look at championship pointer on a huge block. You look at that block, I mean, 6-7. Uh, that's a good block by uh, Hooker there, and yeah, you're right. You know what? They beat number one and they beat number two. They deserve this title. And you can do that in a semifinal and a final. That's uh, that's showing props to your team.
teams are lining up right now in preparation for the presentation of the medals, t-shirts, all-stars, championship banners. We're just waiting for the teams to get ready here and uh, get all the awards presentation taking place. And again, congratulations to St. Mary girls who defeated Selkirk in the girls final. And of course to St. Paul's who just defeated uh, Miles Mack in the boys final. But congratulations to all four teams for being in the championship game. ready for the awards presentation there you get a look at seeing both teams lining up right now on the attack line you're gonna predict me an MVP I think, it has I think to. you have to go with hooker but Signatovic had a great game as well See, while Stasiak as well Stasiak in, the middle, did, in, the yeah. mid, in the middle all I mean it was a team effort it team definitely effort. was but running a really good game there I think was was hooker with his uh, his setting his attacking I mean his net presence his blocking. It's just his net presence was, <laughs> yeah. uh, no I was mean, a difference maker ab absolutely he is a constant threat there's no question so I, I'd probably lean towards that but man it, it wouldn't be surprising also if they gave it to you know a couple of the other guys like Signatowicz or Stasiak and Regaitis played, I mean, they all played well. The whole team played well. And they had to in order to, to beat Miles Mack, who's a team full of complete depth. Absolutely. Good team. Both good teams. Yeah. St. Paul's was just the better team here tonight. And uh, Miles Mack had a great season. They got nothing to be ashamed of. Absolutely not. That would go for all the teams that played here tonight. We're almost ready for the awards presentation. If they're waiting with some interviews at this point, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. I think we're pretty much getting ready for these awards presentations. So what they'll be announcing is the player choice, and then the all stars, and then into the MVP. At this point, I believe we're going to throw courtside to Tom Halleck for the awards presentation.
Justice Lazuki. Number five, Reese Burr. Number seven, Kieran Smith. Number eight, Drew Duncan. Number 14, Matthew Zawaski. Number 15,
Gerard Murray. Number 10, David Bradley. Number 11, Declan Erickson. Number 12, Stephen Cruz. Well, there we have a chance to see all the awards presentation player choice going to Eric Eric Lepke, your number one player in the province from Steinbach. Uh, your all-stars were Eric Lepke as well, Stefan Lavalli, the Miles Mack, Austin Ducharme, who had a great match for Miles Mack, uh, also Serge Girard, one of the setters and attackers as well, St. Paul's Ben Hooker and Matt Stasiak, and then, of course, the MVP was Lucas uh, Signatovic. Um, very, very deserving. You know, they changed their lineup, put Signikovic in the backcourt, moved Stasiak from a libero to a hitter, and Signikovic did a fantastic job in the middle for them. Scored at will and dug a lot of balls and took a few off the face, didn't let it phase him. And uh, congratulations to the whole team and, and him for being the MVP. Absolutely. I thought he had a great match. And if anything, that might have motivated him after that attack because he went up in the front row and was dominant. So, um, Congratulations to, again, all four teams that are, we're in the final here tonight. We've got the Selkirk girls and the St. Mary's girls who ended up winning the championship in three straight by scores of 25-16, 25-12, and 25-13. And then, of course, in the boys, we have the Miles McDonnell Buckeyes and uh, St. Paul's coming out on top, also winning three sets to none by scores of 25-19, 25-22, and 25-19. So three straight in both the girls and the boys championship game. Yeah, it was a uh, good night for the Jesuit schools here tonight in uh, the Quad A Provincial Finals. And uh, there you see the boys. We're gonna have an interview with uh, Signikovic, I think, shortly once they uh, get them off of these team photos but uh, 
great job by uh, shows how happy these kids are. They've had a heck of a year and uh, close it out with a championship. You know, a couple upset games and playing the best, obviously, at the most important part of your season. So congratulations again to the St. Mary's girls and also to the St. Paul's boys team for being declared champions at the 4A level here tonight. Right now, we've got Morris Glincher waiting with our MVP for tonight. So we'd like to throw it courtside where Mo is waiting with that interview. With me is Lucas Signatovic of the St. Paul's Crusaders, MVP of the 2015 championship. How does it feel? It feels unreal. I, I can't believe this is happening right now. We worked hard all season for it, and this is the outcome. Did you think it would go three straight like that? Um, I felt pretty confident going into it. We watched a lot of film and practiced really hard, and we had a great group of guys to work with. Uh, you guys played great, and you did look like you had a lot of teamwork. Uh, a lot of you guys uh, played from like grade 9 and 10. It's a good, good cohesive group. Yeah, um, a lot of the guys have been playing club together and have stuck together since grade 9. So everyone knows each other very well. Awesome. Congratulations. Enjoy it. Uh, great, great performance by the Crusaders. Thank you. And that's going to wrap it up for the 2015 Boston Pizza 4A High School Championships. From Investors Group Athletic Center, I'm Morris Glimcher on behalf of Missy Penner and Jules Martins. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for supporting high school volleyball. Have a great evening, everyone.